This is the True Watercress that we're growing out here in our greenhouse. It's currently uh, February 6, 2014. Temperature outside right now is about 22 degrees, and we've actually had some below zero temperatures here in the last week or so. This is one of the healthiest, easiest plants to grow in your aquaponic tank, and one of the most healthiest food that you can that you can eat. One of the things that's really nice about the watercress is that the roots grow very shallow. As you can see here, they propagate very easily. So what we're doing is we're giving, we are selling these by um, by the shoots, and you just simply take take this and just lay it right on the top of your your bed. Make sure that the roots are able to tap into the water, and these little watercress plants will grow like crazy. You can eat these in salads. You can stir fry it in your uh, different Chinese dishes, and uh, it's very, very good. Your tilapia also will eat these like candy. You just pluck the leaves off and throw them in the water, and they'll eat them. It's more nutritious for them than uh, duckweed. So grab some of this. You just simply take it like this, lay it down, make a little... Make sure that the leaves are wet, throw a little bit of gravel over the root system like that, and you're ready to go. It's that easy and that quick. And that thing will be spreading and growing in no time. Well, spinach growing out here. We, we, uh, we've harvested the spinach several times already. We cut it off at the base, the leaves just keep coming up. And then we also use the taro, the green taro plants, and these are some imperials and these leaves have been damaged a little bit because of the very cold water condensating dripping on them. Normally these are very healthy all year long. They're, the leaves are a little wilted. They'll come back very quickly though. On the uh, inside the greenhouse here the plastics are condensating and then they're freezing in the winter and then when it gets sunshine in the morning that cold water drips and gets on the leaves but the watercress doesn't affect it at all. This plant survives very well in the hot summer it does very well as you can see in the extreme cold winter here in Ohio and it grows like crazy. You actually have to prune this back. We harvest this once a week. We cut about six inches off the top and it grows back within a week or so and you are ready to go. You'll be giving this stuff away for free to your friends. Uh, it's very uh, very good food though. You can just pick off the leaves and just eat them right out of here if you want to. That's how good it is. So we're selling these for you. Hope you enjoy them and have a great day.